Hello, everyone, and welcome to this What I Eat in a Week. It's going to be a very real week. I actually was going to just wait and film and just kind of bring you into like tomorrow or something because just quite honestly, today has been emotionally, I just feel so emotionally tired and just today was just kind of like a hard day. And it's a good day, like I've just been figuring out so many things that's going on with my health. Let's pick our dinner tonight. We have a few options. Okay, let me just get our options out. I've had all of these before, they're so good. We have, have Chef Andreas Mendez crispy pan fried Cajun salmon. This is so delicious. I have Chef Dustin Taylor's stewed Moroccan lamb meatballs. These are so good. Is that what you want? <laughs> okay. And then we have Chef Dustin Taylor's curried grilled chicken with spiced cauliflower. I am telling you, every single time that I get Cook Unity, it comes on the perfect day. Love Cook Unity. I love them too because you can. I love them more. I love them more. Isn't that insane? We have chefs from the Food Network that have come I off of the Food it. Network I and acclaimed it. restauranters. You know how I like to browse? I always like to look, you know, make sure there's no canola oil, nope. gluten free. That's the cool thing you can browse and choose. I think it's kind of cool going through the whole menu. But aren't you glad I, I came I told you let's have this tonight? Yes. And our, oh, remember all of our date nights that we've had with Cook Unity and Dustin Taylor? Many. Aww. Nope. We're doing it. Tonight we're going with Chef Dustin Taylor's stewed rock and lamb meatballs. <laughs> And these are freshly made, cooked in Brooklyn, New York, and sent to me. The job here representing his name, the company. <laughs> it makes me right. feel like I'm a chef. Literally smells unbelievable. Here it is. Wow, it looks delicious. Oh, are you gonna light my candle, babe? It smells like a firework. Can you help me out? Oh, of course, no problem. Wait, I actually don't know how to get it off. Ah! Amen. It looks so good, I love it. Mm. That's so good. That meatball is so good. You can go to cookunity.com slash Cambria Joy or use Cambria 50 and get 50% off of your first order at Cook Unity so you can try them out for yourself. It is the best thing in the world having restaurant quality chef made, literally chefs, Food Network, acclaimed restauranters, some of our favorite food. Ever. Link will be in the description box. We're just in heaven over there. It's really good. No, and your sister, we told them about mm -hmm. community and she was gonna get it, huh? Yeah. Work schedule. Yep. If you have a really busy life, like really busy, his sister works so crazy hours. Coming home from a long day of work and having a delicious, nutritious meal, that's the thing. Like this is so nutrient dense, like whole fresh foods. This literally was prepared yesterday. Having that shipped to your door, 10 out of 10. It was amazing. Delicious. Awesome. Phenomenal. Incredible. Hello everyone, welcome to my birthday extravaganza. Well, I don't know if it's an extravaganza, but we are gonna be baking for my birthday. I'm gonna show all the recipes and everything that I'm making for later this evening. So we're gonna get to work because I have a lot to make. And I was gonna do a what I ate in a week, but this week was just kind of hard if you watched my video anyway with my update. So it was just kind of a lot. It was very emotionally overwhelming. So we had a couple extra date nights. We went out to eat and that was that, that we never, usually do that but you know what just real life so so I figured instead let's do my birthday so we're gonna start out with this sweet and salty cream cheese tart I recently discovered Allison Roman and her cookbooks and so I'm very excited because I'm just gonna make everything gluten-free so this is the sweet and salty again cream cheese tart and I'm very excited so let's get baking I'm probably just gonna voice over this whole thing so we're just gonna have a fun day baking and cooking together I have a very high hopes for these recipes and I will leave my version to her recipe, not my version, but you know, my um, substitutions with what I used in the description box. So if you wanna follow along and make it gluten-free, you can. But anyway, these are really fun recipes for spring too. So 
let's get cooking because we have a lot to do and we sprang forward today and that means that I sprang backwards. So let's, let's get cooking. <laughs> this gluten-free sweet and salty cream cheese tart is truly unbelievable. And it's really just the perfect sweet treat for spring. For the crust, you're gonna use five ounces of Nilla wafers. And I found these gluten-free Nilla wafers just at my local grocery store, two tablespoons of light brown sugar and four tablespoons of butter melted. And then you just want to crush that all up. I mixed it up in a food processor. Speaking of spring, you are gonna need a spring form pan. I found that that was definitely the easiest way to get it out. Really wanna smash it down into your spring form pan. Bake that for about 15 minutes at 325 degrees. And then you are going to make the filling, which is so easy. It's just two eight ounce packages of full fat cream cheese. I really like this lactose free one. It's really good. And then one cup of a full fat Greek yogurt. This one has probiotics in there, which is amazing. It's also very rich in protein and it just makes just a nice, light, refreshing dessert. It's so good. Half a cup of granulated sugar, two eggs, and then three tablespoons. I use fresh grapefruit juice from my local farm. Pop that into the oven for about 25 to 35 minutes, and then you wanna turn the oven off and open the door a crack to let the tart sit in there for about 15 minutes before transferring it to the refrigerator to cool. Okay, these just might be the best chocolate chip cookies that you will ever make in your entire life, and they're gluten-free. They're so delicious. These salted butter and chocolate chunk shortbread cookies. Allison really outdid herself with this recipe. You're gonna start out with one cup plus two tablespoons of salted butter cut into half a chunk pieces or half an inch pieces, half a cup of granulated sugar, a fourth of a cup of light brown sugar, but I used coconut sugar, and then a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and you are going to beat that in your mix until it gets nice and fluffy. And then you're gonna add two and a quarter cup all-purpose flour directly into your mixer and six ounces of semi-sweet chocolate chopped up. Once you do that, you're gonna roll it up in some saran wrap and then pop it into the fridge for a couple hours to make sure that it's nice and cold. For some reason, I didn't film this, but you're actually gonna take that little cookie log and roll it up in a beaten egg and then dip it in sugar. And then you cut it up and bake it for about 12 to 15 minutes at 350 degrees. And they are the best cookies that you will ever have in your entire life. Everyone is freaking out over these. So apparently this dip is so good that it's actually nicknamed <laughs> the dip and it has gone viral on the internet. I had never heard of it before. This is perfect for hosting. It is actually really rich in protein. It's nice and light, and it took me like two seconds to whip up. So with one third cup of olive oil, you're gonna add four chopped scallions or green garlic, a teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes, and two tablespoons of finely chopped fresh cilantro, or chives, you could do either or. In another bowl, you're gonna mix two cups of full fat Greek yogurt or sour cream, I did half and half, and two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. And basically you are going to sizzle up your olive oil and your herbs and then pour it over the top of your Greek yogurt mixture. And it makes such a light, refreshing dip. It kind of tastes like ranch, but even better. This is such a perfect spring appetizer, nice and rich in protein. I could not stop eating it. Okay, this recipe, recipe you can use over and over. It is so delicious. It's one of my go-to favorite recipes of all time. I even make it as a snack regularly. You can actually either use beets or figs, which I know those are very different things, but both work. You top your chopped up beets, I get them from Costco, with some feta and mint. Drizzle with honey, you're done. It is the most delicious flavor combination. It's so fresh from the mint, salty from the feta, but perfect. And I just cannot explain to you how good this is. I basically ate the whole thing <laughs> before everybody else got to it. I'm just kidding, but it was so good. Next up, we have this leafy herb salad. And I really wasn't sure how this was going to be because I didn't know if it was gonna be too overwhelming with all the herbs, but you basically just wash your greens, chop up a whole head of chives, cilantro, and parsley, and then and I made my own dressing. I always make this dressing. It seriously works on every single salad. It's a drizzle of maple syrup, a drizzle of olive oil, a drizzle of lemon, and then a capful of apple cider vinegar. And sometimes I will put a splash of coconut aminos. I always massage the salad with my hands to coat every single piece of lettuce. And that is it. This salad was so fresh. I thought it was gonna be overwhelming and overpowering, but honestly, the herbs made it just outstanding. It was so good. And last but not least, we have this gluten-free shallot pasta. Chop up six shallots, 
five cloves of garlic, saute in some olive oil until it gets nice and crispy and delicious, and then added in a whole thing of anchovies and some organic tomato paste, and that was it. You thin it out with some pasta water, cook up your pasta, which I did at the very last minute, threw it with the sauce, and that was my menu for my birthday dinner and just these delicious spring recipes that were such a hit. It was so fun to try new recipes from a different cookbook that I've never used. And I just wanna show you too that it's really easy to swap things out and make it gluten-free if you're gluten-free. And I really hope that you just enjoyed this video and you got some inspiration. These recipes are so light and fresh and delicious. Everything was phenomenal. Hello, my friends, and thank you for coming to my birthday party with me. My last birthday, turning 27, I'm officially 28, if you couldn't tell by the burnt, the burnt two candle. But last year was one of, last year was a really hard birthday for me. Even this week, I thought I was gonna film a what I eat in a week and show you my recipes, and that's very minor, and it's really not that big of a deal that I pivoted this video at all, just very realistic. But that's the thing is that sometimes life, we can have a plan and we can have this idea of how it's gonna be and how it's gonna go. And when it doesn't go the way that we plan, which we hear this a lot, it almost can become something that kind of goes in one ear and out the other. But when something really doesn't go the way that you planned, and maybe it's not even necessarily that you had a plan in your head, but something happens that's so unexpected and something that you just could have never saw coming. I just specifically remember last year on the way home from my little birthday hangout with Bo, I just started crying. And I just, it was one of those moments with your tears that there's nothing that you can do to hold them back. You're not gonna stop them. And I have been reminded throughout this year, this is technically my last day of being 27. And if there's anything that this year taught me is that God is bigger than all of our fears. And there really is no place, there is no moment in life that we will ever walk alone. And the interesting thing to me is I prepare a table when I'm throwing a celebration and, you know, having my party and making all these recipes and, and God is preparing for us a table, a place to be nourished and sustained and to find life even in the middle of our darkest days. And I have found that to be so true in my life on the darkest, hardest days, in the places where maybe we feel fear is so much bigger than everything else. I have found that God is always bigger than every fear and he is there. He has gone before me and goodness and mercy are following behind me and they are for you too. So here we go, year 28. I'm so excited for all of the goodness to come and I have so many. I have so many good plans that it reminds me when I get excited and I think about you and I'm dreaming up all these things, it reminds me how much more God, how much more God and the plans that he has for our life. We cannot fathom them. The dreams that you have in your heart, the desires that you have in your heart, the good, beautiful dreams that your mind thinks up, how much more beautiful are God's plans and dreams for you. They are so beyond anything that we could ever even dream. And that gives me so much hope. Thought I would sneak in a little giveaway at the end. I really, I'm gonna do my big 700,000 giveaway, but I'm still planning that out and I'm leaving for my actual birthday tomorrow. So I gotta still get all my goodies. But for this video, you are going to win the Nothing Fancy cookbook from Allison Roman and then also her Dining In cookbook. These are incredible cookbooks. Torn Plum Browned Butter Cake. And that's the thing, once you have that gluten-free flour blend, you can literally make anything. Look at this sheet cake. Salted honey panna cotta with crushed raspberries. I genuinely want to make this tonight. Oh, here's the cookies. These famous salted butter chocolate chunk shortbread cookies. Unbelievably delicious. And then I'm also throwing in a copy of Milk and Honey. Of course, I wrote this book to help you taste the goodness of God in every season and circumstance of your life. So you're going to win a signed copy of Milk and Honey and the cookbooks. And all you have to do is let me know what 
recipe or what your favorite dessert is for your birthday. Like I feel like we all have like a favorite dessert, but what is the one dessert that you always wanna have on your birthday? Mine is actually something I didn't make. I've wanted to make it for years now, but it is carrot cake. I honestly should just make myself a carrot cake when we get back. That is my dessert. So let me know in the comments below what your favorite birthday dessert is. And don't forget to check out Cook Unity. I'm gonna leave a link in the description box. The best food ever. If you are busy and you are in a season of life where you want food that you can come home, you're tired, you've had long busy days, pop it in the oven and have a restaurant quality meal Dustin Taylor is, he never disappoints. I couldn't love Cook Unity more. They are a fantastic meal chef to door meal delivery service. Link will be in the description box. I love you so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.